Episode 202. It was just, you know, one person raised their hand, another person raised their hand. People kept tagging each other. More and more emails started coming in saying, hey, I want to be involved. Um, sponsors started coming on board. And suddenly it was this huge thing. I, it's, it's taken on a life of its own. This project is no longer just about building a car or a truck or, or anything simple. It's huge. Welcome, aftermarketers, to On Point from Remarkable Results Radio and a special interview from an auto care industry professional. On Point. Welcome, automotive aftermarket professionals, to Remarkable Results Radio. This is your podcast host, Karn Capriato. Now, as you may know, I built a mobile studio at Vision KC in March of 2017, and I did a lot of interviews that you'll hear over time. Now, this is my first to publish, and it's with Bogie Latiner here in episode 202. Now, we talked about her very special project, the Chevy Montage All-Female Build. Now, more on that in a minute. This episode is made possible through the sponsorship of Federal Mogul Motor Parts and Garage Gurus. For serious technical training and support, online, on-site, and on-demand, Garage Gurus is everything you need to know. Find out more at fmgaragegurus.com. You can find this week's show notes with Bogey at remarkableresults.biz slash e202. Hey, you know, I'm impassioned about building a stronger aftermarket. So besides the power of the twice-weekly podcasts, you now have a new source for information. The Town Hall Live Forum every Friday at 12 noon Eastern. Go to remarkableresults.biz slash townhall and sign up just once to be in the audience each week. We also broadcast it live on Facebook. Now, Town Hall Live shows are archived on the website, and you'll be extremely impressed with the quality of these forums. Watch them like a documentary and learn like a seminar. I promise your time will be well spent. Each week is a single subject discussed by an industry panel. I love it when you connect with me on Facebook, like new friends Bob Leonard, Matt Haw, and Alan Kubush, and in my new LinkedIn connections, Timothy Dunn, Sid Michaels, and Mike Molitor. Connect with me with an idea for a show or a guest suggestion. My email, carm at remarkableresults.biz. That's B-I-Z. And I do get a lot of emails, so thanks. Hey, when I envisioned in March 2017 in Kansas City, it was so great to see aftermarket professionals showing me the icon for the podcast app on their smartphone. And you can get it, too. It's free. Yes, free. Just go to your app store, search for Remarkable Results Radio, and install. Minutes later, you'll have access to every episode. Now, how cool is that? Now, meet Bogey Latiner. Her latest project, the 57 Chevy Pickup Montage All-Female Build, is all about highlighting the woman of the automotive world and creating learning opportunities for women interested in exploring the trade. Bogey wants to attract new people to the industry, especially women. She tells us all about the project, the BMW engine that they're going to install, the gorgeous new suspension she talks about, and a lot more. Now, the final build will be unveiled at SEMA 2017. She has a crowdfunding campaign to help get the women their flights and rooms while working on the project. Yes, there are women from all over the country, even from Alaska, working on the project. See the show notes page for all information like website and crowdfunding links. And hey, hey, after you listen, you may want to get involved corporately and or through your own engagement in the project. Hey, the entire interview was broadcast live on Facebook while we were recording. And as of this release, it has garnered 14,000 views. Now, Bogey, you got a heck of a great following. Now, here we go with Bogey Latiner and the Chevy Montage all-female build. Hey, welcome, everyone. We're live at Vision 2017 in Kansas City. Bogey Latiner from 180 Degrees Automotive has stopped by. You've heard Bogey on the show. She's been a loyal supporter. Thanks for coming by. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Big project you're working on. Yes. Whoa, Chevy Montage. <laughs> when I saw that, I'm saying, what is this? <laughs> and, and I studied and I watched all, all these great, you know, w- what you're doing with an all-female crew. Yes. What? How'd this start? Where'd you get the idea, Bogey? <laughs> you know, it grew really organically. It started out just as this kind of harebrained idea to rebuild an old truck, do something a little goofy. Um, since I, I'm um, an owner now of a shop, and I've been doing that for so many years, and um, I, I don't get to wrench that much anymore. You know, when you start a business and you stop doing the thing you love and you start just being a business owner, right? So I was kind of missing wrenching. And so this kind of started out as a wouldn't it be fun 
to build a truck, get my hands dirty again, get back to wrenching a little bit, get back to what I love, and then maybe invite some of my girlfriends who also work on cars and do something kind of fun and maybe do something a little unusual because I'm a BMW girl, right? So I, it didn't make sense for me to just have a 57 Chevy pickup and not do something cool with it. This is your vehicle? It is my vehicle. We're oh. putting a BMW M5 engine in it because... Why not? <laughs> because I'm a BMW girl, but I love old pickup trucks. So let's mash that up and put it together. We are doing the S62 engine. Um, that is going to be mated with a TR6060 transmission with a Mantec multi-disc clutch. Um, we are doing uh, classic instruments has come on board to do our instrument cluster, American Auto Wire, um, wiring harness. We are doing a Art Morrison chassis, which I'm super excited about. The Art Morrison chassis showed up last week and it is, oh my God, it is so sexy. I'm so excited. The truck is going to get lowered a couple of inches with that chassis. Um, it's going to look really sweet. One other fun thing that's coming up is we're doing a Pick the Color contest. So March 15th on BASF's website, uh, we've custom mixed three colors, and we are letting our fans choose what color this truck gets painted. So um, keep an eye out for posts about that and help us pick the color. That's exciting. Yeah. I like that. You mean you were really missing the fact that you didn't have grease under your nails? I was. And so you said, <laughs> let's do this project. You built this incredible shop. And, and where's it located? Um, it's not far from my main shop. So 180 Auto is my main repair shop. And then this is an additional warehouse space that we bought not far from there, specifically to build this truck. And then we've got some long-term plans for it as well. You can eat off the floor. Uh, it's gorgeous. Not so much anymore. <laughs> we, All right. <laughs> it's still pretty clean, but we've been working hard in it. <laughs> when you put the call out for the team to join you, how instantly did the, the team come around you? It just has been growing organically. Like I said, I kind of put the word out. And all of a sudden, there was just, you know, one person raised their hand, another person raised their hand. People kept tagging each other. More and more emails started coming in saying, hey, I want to be involved. Um, sponsors started coming on board. And suddenly, it was this huge thing. I've, it's it's taken on a life of its own. This project is no longer just about building a car or a truck or or Buggy. anything this simple. Is, yeah, it's huge. And, and that's the point. The yeah. point is, this has gone to an incredibly altruistic. You know, yes, you wanted to build it. It was your vehicle. But you said there's more to do for the industry. There is. So this build has really become about celebrating the women who have been doing this work in the industry day in and day out. It's really about celebrating the people who paved the way for us as well. But getting some light shown, shined, shined, shown. Um, Works for me. <laughs> one of those. Um, um, highlighting the women who were doing this work, but also to really create some opportunities along the way too. So we're doing workshops. Um, we're doing trainings. We've got women from experts who've been doing this for years, all the way down to noobs who've never turned a wrench. And they're working together. They're learning. Um, we're really creating an entry point. A lot of a lot of the the noobs, a lot of the women who've not been experienced in the automotive world, are coming in and saying, you know, I've always been interested in cars, but I've never had an opportunity. I've, nobody's ever given me a chance to explore, to learn, or or play with tools. And so we had a crew of this is really cool, Carm. We had a crew of nine women who had never turned a wrench never worked on a car they did the entire deconstruction of the truck in one week and just evenings so it was just you know two or three hours a night they were learning about tools they were learning about different sizes of sockets they were learning about torque reduction and and where where you have the best leverage and how to break rusted bolts loose it was a really really cool thing was that part of your purpose in, in an outcome you expected or was that just a surprise um Kind of a little bit of both. Um, it was definitely part of the purpose. We wanted to, you know, I love teaching women. I love doing right. the women's car care classes. I get asked a lot for more advanced classes than my basics class that I do. Right. But they're kind of difficult to do unless you've got something like this. So you expected to teach about sockets. You, you expected to, to teach about leverage. You expected to teach this is this part, that's that part. I didn't part. necessarily expect women who had zero experience ah, to want to get okay. involved. Right. And But it was a really cool thing when they did. One of my technicians who works with me at 180 came down and helped out for a couple of nights and she was teaching these girls and getting them all involved and, and really it was just a really neat thing to watch them pass the torch what are the girls saying to you oh they're loving it they are loving it we've got three women in particular who are local girls who have just just 
they've they've clamped onto this. They came up for the first deconstruction and they have been there every single night that we're working that they can possibly be there. They want to be involved throughout the whole year. They've just bought in. They're like, well, this is my project for the year. I'm, I'm in on this. I'm learning. And and it's a really neat one of the women, her whole family is into old trucks and restorations, but she never really was able to get involved in it. And now she's now she's building her own. It's kind of neat. It's changing her relationship with her family now. <laughs> Bogey, you just said local girls. Are there people from out of there the There are. Okay. We've got women coming from all over the country. We've got a woman flying in in a few months from Alaska. We have women coming from everywhere. Washington, New York State, uh, Seattle, um, Texas, uh, North Carolina, uh, everywhere. <laughs> on their own dime. Um, mostly on their own dime. I have been helping out with a lot of the travel expenses. And so that's why we've launched this crowdfunding campaign. Brake jobs are a staple component of all successful shops. And getting the brake job right helps build a quality reputation for any shop. When the best is called for and stopping distance, rotor wear, and pad life are important to every shop and its customers, Wagner OEX brake pads are your only choice. Based on benchmark testing conducted by Link Engineering Company, Wagner OEX pads can stop a pickup, SUV, or CUV up to 50 feet sooner. Based on internal testing comparing new Wagner OEX to other Wagner offerings, the unique design of Wagner OEX increases pad life up to two times longer. The customized shape and slot design of each of the more than 114 SKUs creates a turbulent airflow that allows for cooler operation and improved stopping power for the vehicle on which it was designed. Wagner OEX cover 95% of the U.S. market of pickups, SUVs, and CUVs. Wagner has the science behind stopping perfected. They conduct 13,000 critical tests each year and, as of today, have 258 issued patents with 68 patents pending. Wagner has earned their stripes. Now they want to earn yours. Install Wagner OEX, the customized brake pad that can stop your customer's truck up to 50 feet sooner. You know that 70% of professional technicians install Moog? Do you know who is best in class in engineering R&D? Do you know who holds 47 patents and has 28 dedicated engineers on staff? Yeah, Moog. You should know that 85% of Moog socket-style components are manufactured in North America, and that makes Moog best in class for manufacturing. And since 1966, every NASCAR championship has been won on Moog parts. But you knew that. I know why you install Moog. They solve your problems. Over the years, Moog has provided problem-solving innovations like a patented pressed-in cover plate, powdered metal gusher-bearing technology, compression-loaded ball joints with a pre-installed integral dust boot, and vertical control arm bushings. You know why you install Moog. Enhanced durability, improved performance, and ease of installation. For more information, go to MoogParts.com. Now you know. So the the purpose is is to bring education and experience to the females. It, it, obviously, we know how much uh, our industry needs good quality techs. Absolutely, and, and 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 females. Just we need we need so many more to join. And you said crowdfunding here. Yeah. And you've got a campaign going. On. Oh, by the way, I love your branding. Uh, your, your 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 whole new brand. Thank you. Uh, based on your own name, I spent some time on your site. You've done a good job with Thank that. You. But tell me about the crowdfunding campaign. So the crowdfunding campaign has really come about as it's not about helping us build the truck or or anything like that. It really is about helping create more opportunities for women to come and be involved. Um, I've been paying for most of the travel expenses. I had a heap of frequent flyer points. They've gone away very quickly. Um, mm -hmm. So now I'm paying out of my own pocket um, to help these women come down, to house them, to feed them. Um, it is a big expense, but we're trying to make this opportunity something available to as many people as possible. We're bringing in people to teach workshops. Uh, we want to create as many learning opportunities as we can. And so that all costs money. And um, we're doing something bigger than building a truck. Like I said, we're creating opportunities for women to try out wrenching. We're creating a way to highlight how cool our industry is, to show people how many different ways one can be involved in the industry. We're documenting this whole thing on YouTube so um, people can watch it and see and, and go, wow, okay, maybe that is something I can do because, look, those girls look like me and they're doing it, so maybe I can do it too. Um, maybe give some people the courage to try it out. 
So it's it's big. <laughs> Bigger than you ever expected. So how big do you expect? <laughs> when you say, uh, pinch myself, I can't believe where we are. I can't believe uh-huh. the, the, the spot that we're at. We're looking for money to help us do this. What's around the next corner you could share with us? So... This year is all about building the truck, getting it to SEMA. We're unveiling it at SEMA in the BASF booth. They're one of our headliner sponsors, and they have been phenomenal about this because they're on the same page about encouraging the next generation. Um, So they're allowing us to reveal the truck in their booth at SEMA. So this year is all about that, getting it there, doing all the learning opportunities, doing all the workshops, doing all of the, the trainings and the YouTube videos and all of that good stuff. 2018, the plan for the truck is to take it around to high schools and do some talking and appearances to use the truck and some video about the build process to uh, to reach influencers and guidance counselors and teachers and students to highlight how cool our industry is and how many awesome opportunities there are in a variety of different ways for both men and women. I sense there's scholarships in here somewhere. (laughs) I am hoping so. I do have a scholarship um, with the Tech Force Foundation to help women go to tech school. Um, So that will probably wind up being integrated into this in some way. And we have some long-term plans. This is nothing cemented yet. We're probably talking 2018, 2019. But the space that we bought to build this truck, we have some plans to take it and turn it into a little bit of a training center. I hear all the time, and I'm sure you do too, that shop owners are saying, I can't find good tech. I can't find good techs. I can't find good techs. And then I, on the other hand, all the time hear female techs who are graduating from school saying, nobody will give me a chance. Nobody will give me a chance. And so we've got this big disconnect, right? There are women who want the jobs and there are shop owners who want the employees, but yet they're not, they're not connected. And I think part of the problem is because nobody wants to hire someone with no experience. But how do you get experience if nobody will give you a chance to get experience, right? (laughs) It's a college person's biggest dilemma. Right. So we'd like to use this space to create a place where um, women getting out of tech school can come and get like a six-month intensive training on either the collision side or the mechanical side, learn some skill sets, do work on cars for um, disadvantaged or at-risk folks that can't afford repairs, we get the we do the work for free. We get the part sponsored. The women are getting hands on experience, and then at the end they graduate with a certificate saying, "I know how to do X, Y, Z." And then we match them up with shops that we've pre qualified as being shops that will train you and have a good working environment and give you an opportunity to learn and grow. So that's the big, that's like the big gigantic monster vision for a little bit down the road. First, I got to get through this year, but. <laughs> Do these women who are on this project realize the value of having the montage on their resume? Um, you know, I don't know about that, but I know that they are super jazzed about the experience. A lot of women, you know, we're 1.8% of the industry, right? 1.8% of automotive technicians are women. So it's really common for us to feel like an only. They're out doing their job, doing their work, out wherever they live, and they don't they don't often get to work with other women. I had one woman I was talking on the phone with. She's coming out from upstate New York. She's coming out for an entire month. I said, wow, that's a really long time for you to be away from your work and your family and your friends. She said, Bogie, I am, I'm in my mid-40s. I've been doing this work for a long time, and I have never had an opportunity like this to work with other women who are like me. And I've always felt like a weirdo. And to know that I'm going to have an opportunity to work with other women like me, she's like, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm not passing it up. I want to take the most advantage of it that I possibly can. You know, I live in upstate New York. (laughs) I did not know that, actually. (laughs) You're a busy woman. Sixth season in All Girls Garage. Obviously, that experience really probably helped you uh, want to want to do the montage absolutely and and my experience with all girls garage has been an ex- a fantastic one i love the women who i work with i love my production company i love being a part of the velocity family they've been fantastic to me and and it did we've done a couple of episodes on all girls garage where we worked with um some women from wyo tech and um you know just bringing in other female techs and hosts uh to be temporary hosts it was a great thing and i loved doing that I love being able to highlight the other women I and mean, Christy and Rachel and I we get to we get to do this every week but there are so many other women out there 
doing this work on a regular basis. And I want to highlight them too. And so that's, that's part of, of the motivation behind all of this as well. Okay. You need to get support from the industry behind you. And it doesn't matter if it's a major, major company or a technician saying, hey, here's a buck for the program. Every dollar counts. Because think about it. If everybody who knows that we have a technician shortage, if every shop owner who wishes they could find more technicians would love to find female techs, if every woman who wants to to think about a, a trade or a career in the trades donated just one dollar that would fund this whole project right just one dollar and that and that matters right so obviously we would love some bigger support from um from those who can help and who really believe in what we're doing so how does that work what do you do where, where, where does anyone go so um our crowdfunding is on indiegogo and you can do one of two things. You can either go to my website, bokeysgarage.com, and there's a little box that'll pop up, and you can click on um, tell me more or show me more, okay. and it'll bring you right to the campaign. Or you can go to Indiegogo and just type in the search box, Bogies Garage, and it will bring you right to our and campaign. it comes up and it says, show me the money. And it, Pretty much. And then there's lots of gifts. We have lots of really cool perks. Really? So there's all sorts of fun things from the $2 level where we're going to send you some cool stickers to we've got some fun T-shirts, um, flasks, water bottles, uh, opportunities to do one-on-one consulting with me. Shop owners, there's an opportunity to do a shop assessment where I come in to your shop and do a personalized shop assessment. You do a lot of, of training on marketing. You are marketing, uh, you're very passionate about marketing, maybe a marketing guru to that nth degree in the guerrilla marketing sense. <laughs> and um, this just seems to be uh, such an altruistic, uh, you know, passionate. You just want to involve the industry and engage the woman in this, in this project. I, mean, I see a movie coming out of this i, I, <laughs> maybe, I really do maybe I, you I, never know this is a this is a documentary <laughs> i hope so i think it'd be really cool i mean this really is the, the convergence of everything i'm passionate about in life i i am everything that i do from my shop to all girls garage to teaching to um speaking everything has been about improving our industry helping attract new people to it Opening the doors to women, both as customers and consumers, as well as women in the industry. Um, and, yeah, I mean, that's what drives me, everything. So this build kind of takes all of that and wraps it up and puts a little bow on top, and it's about everything I'm passionate about. Did you ever think, uh, doing pre-law at Oberlin College, that you'd be <laughs> doing this right now? No. No. If you told me that this is what my life was going to look like, uh, what, 20 years ago when I graduated from, is it 20 years? 15 years? When did I graduate? Uh, 16 years ago when I graduated from college. Let's not rush things. I'm not that old yet. Um, 16 years ago when I graduated from college, if you told me this was going to be my life, I I probably would have laughed at you. Um, but here I am, and I love it. I love it. I have so enjoyed the story. Uh, I believe our podcast audience is going to really appreciate it, and, and I'm asking them to get involved with this because it's, it's it seems like it's a great project, I think, for a great cause, and it's very altruistic on your part to, to want to be involved at this level. How many women... Uh, are in the project so far with you? We've had about 30 women involved so far. That's a lot. Um, By the end of the year, we're expecting it to be closer to 100. Um, We have some women who are coming down for a second time. They came down already. They're going to come down again and spend another week on the build. We have one woman who is coming down with her husband in their RV, and they are going to spend 17 weeks with us working on this build. So it's inspiring a lot of people. I can't imagine, though, the logistical... Uh, workload that you have to say, I, I can't have all 100 ladies here at once. It's a little and, challenging. And, okay. It's a little challenging. Getting the schedule right and making sure we have enough of the right people at the right time. Yes. Um, and having enough hands on deck and organizing flights and housing and all of that other good stuff. So it's definitely, um, I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot of skills that I never knew that I needed. Um, and I'm not a restoration tech. So just even aside from all the production and the the organizing of people, just the truck itself, I'm learning a heap because I'm I'm a mechanic. I'm a technician. I, I fix broken things, right? I don't do paint and body work. I don't do fabrication. So I'm learning a lot, and that's I'm having a blast doing that. Learning how to do hammer and dolly work and um, and welding and fabrication, and I'm loving it. So it's it's a, a, a lot of fun. How true to form is the montage going to be? Are you just going to have fun with it? I mean, do do different things with. It? Um, 
What do you mean true to form? Are you going to bring it back to, I mean, besides, uh, besides the so engine? It's going to be a mild restoma. The, the whole idea of it is that it's kind of old school look with yeah. new school power. Okay. And it's this mashup of a European engine in a domestic vehicle, kind of different so from what that normal SEMA, people that do. So it's going to have that SEMA feel A little it, bit. Right? But, you know, we hear about people putting LS engines in all the time. Everybody does LS engines. Or you put a BMW, uh, an LS in a BMW. But never do you hear about putting a BMW in a Chevy. Right. So... It's kind of fun, it's, and we like that that's, that's where the name Montage comes from. It's a mashup, right? And all the women working on it kind of coming together to do it makes it a little bit of a montage as well. All right. So what's next? What's next? Yeah. What, I mean, is that already, not enough? Have you already picked <laughs> out the, the, uh, the, the next vehicle and the next project? I'm just in, trying in to get through this years. one. <laughs> all right. Okay. All we right. have some other ideas, but right now we're just trying to get through the, the montage. What have I failed <laughs> to ask you that you really want to talk about? Oh, my goodness. I don't know. Um, I would just I would just reiterate again that this build is really about bringing in the next future generation of technicians and really showing the world how um, how reputable and prestigious and honorable and worthwhile our career is. We get a bad rap out there, I think, and so. This build is about showing people, right? We can talk to each other all day long about the skills gap and how we need to attract more technicians. But this build is designed to attract the attention of non-automotive folks, right? Non-industry folks, because us telling each other that we need more people isn't going to fix the problem. We need the rest of the world to know how awesome our industry is. We need the rest of the world to say, yeah, being an, an automotive technician or a, or a restoration tech or a collision tech, like those are awesome careers, and there's a lot of opportunity there. And look, look what you can do with these skills. So we, we're spreading the word about our industry. That's what this is about. Thanks for coming out. Bogie Latiner from the Chevy Montage build, the all-female build from All Girls Garage on Velocity Channel and 180-degree automotive. And bogielatiner.com, right? Wow, cool stuff. And Carm, thank you so much for the opportunity and having us on oh, the show. Glad and to have you. Thanks I so really much. appreciate it. Super luck to the continued uh, goodness, greatness <laughs> of the project. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Bogey. Thanks. See you. Bye. Bye. Hey, thanks, Bogey. What a great project. Now, if you want to follow up, remarkableresults.biz slash E202 and get all the links talked about in the interview that also connect you with Bogey and the Chevy Montage all female bill. Hey, share this content-rich resource with your friend. There's a lot to go around. It's easy. Email the episode link, share my Facebook page, Twitter account, or LinkedIn connection. The richness grows because you help ripple the water. Hey, any questions or comments, email me at carm at remarkableresults.biz or head over to the contact page on the website. Thanks for being on board to listen and learn from another inspiring aftermarket professional. Until next time.